Uh, so Simon, can you introduce yourself a bit? Okay. Uh, okay, my name is Simon. Uh, Simon Winston. Uh, I am 20 years old and I'm currently in my year two, final semester for year two. I'm doing a Bachelor's of Contemporary Music. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're saying you're from contemporary course. So there's actually two only yeah, for, for music course. One is classical, one is contemporary. Correct, yeah, there's two, two streams. Oh. Yeah. But uh, under classical and contemporary, there's different majors, right? For what I've known. Uh, uh, okay, just say like, for example, if, if your major is piano, it can be classical piano or contemporary piano. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So if it's like a uh, violin, it's also the same, classical or contemp violin. Oh. Yeah. Good. So every student it, it's compulsory to take a minor, right? Yeah, correct. One major, one minor. So. Yeah, yeah. So your major is? Oh, my major is contemporary piano. Oh, yeah. so what about your minor? Oh, my minor, uh, first I took, uh, okay, actually we have four, how to say, uh, four times we can choose our minor. That means like that four times we can switch. We can learn different, different stuff. Oh. So the first one I took uh, classical piano. Yeah, so for, okay. Also for minor can mix whether it's classical yeah. or contemporary. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So there's four times. So the first two times I took, uh, the first two times I took uh, classical piano. Then the the third time I took uh, a contemporary voice, which is singing. Then the last one I took a contemporary composition. Oh, so, oh, so, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, how many type of major are there for contemporary? Contemporary. There are a lot. Uh, <laughs> are there not, a lot? Yeah, with that, there's piano, there's a violin, there's voice, uh, drums, uh, guitar. Guitar can be acoustic guitar or bass guitar, and there's also electric guitar. Yeah, okay. and yeah, I think. Ah, and one more is a uh, composition. Basically, you uh, do some arranging stuff and all those things. You create a score or music and all those things. Oh, yeah. so that's a major specific for composition. Uh? Yeah, true. Oh, so um, how many type of classes there are? Maybe some practical, some theory, right? Yeah. Like for the practical one is basically our major class and our minor class. Then we also have uh, oral classes. Oral classes uh, simply it means that um, it's basically a lot to do with our singing. Like for instance, like we can play well. Uh, it is also uh, advisable for us to maybe interpret what we can play through singing. So that is the purple, the purpose of oral classes. They oh. train us to sing. Instead of just playing, we can, uh, yeah, to we can actually if they want us to interpret like what we can play through our voices. Yeah, like oh. sing certain intervals and phrases and all those things. So yeah. it's kind of compulsory to take oral class. Yeah, it is the yeah it is one of the core courses. Oh okay, yeah. so um. When you're in school, what do you uh, normally do when in class? I think like for oral class, you say it's singing. For practical class, it's uh, playing. playing your major, yeah. right? Yeah, playing, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, you also have theory class where you... Theory class yeah. is like normal study. Yeah, it's normal study. Study class. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So, are there any like mix classes with classical students? Um, 
uh, there is like for oral for foundation level we usually we will mix up with classical and contemporary oh. once yeah only degree only we will split to our streams yeah oh so now degree is like completely split already yeah completely split yeah oh, okay so um what facilities uh do you use in UCSI uh, as a music student? Okay, number one is the practice room. Yeah, <laughs> number one is the practice room. Then, uh, number two, uh, I will use the the MIDI lab. MIDI lab simply means uh, it is like a technology lab for for students who are basically compose and all those things. They need certain software to notate the. Like for example, the score. Because now, uh, it's like all it, it's like all high tech. So we don't write out the score with our hands and all those things. We use uh, notation software. So in the MIDI lab, we have all this uh, facility like the notation software, uh, digital audio workstation, and all those things. So for MIDI lab, it's uh like, so it's layout like a computer lab, is it? And then. Yeah can say like that lah. It's because, oh, but yeah. it's the software inside the computer is uh, meant for music students. Yeah, but. true, true. Yes. Okay. So, are there any other? Uh, the more uh, the library, because uh, we we do have uh, history courses and uh, research courses. So when we find materials, we usually go to the library. Yeah. Oh, what type of history? Yeah. Uh, basically, like for classical, they will have their their history. So basically, they will talk about like uh, uh, music in the eighteenth, sixteenth century and all those oh, things. Like for so it's like study, study. Yeah, it's like study. Then oh. like for contemporary, we will have like uh history about rock music, jazz music. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. For faculty activities, how many type are there? Like two or three, right? You have two or three faculty activities. Um, but, uh, what do you really mean by faculty? Do you mean like uh, choir and all those things? Do you mean like something um, like that? Faculty activities are like um, maybe something can... I think for music student is like uh, for right here is concert, right? Or yeah. recitals. I yeah. been to recitals. That one is one of the faculty activities, right? Yeah, it's like compulsory. But sometimes we do conduct uh activities such as um among gotong students. Royong. Yeah, among students, like gotong going and stuff. Yeah. Oh, so other than uh, uh the activities uh mm. run by faculty. And then you say among students there's Gotong Royong, right? Yeah. Other than that, are there any more? Um, usually there are some like uh, little little concerts where the students and the lecturer they gather and they can perform. Oh. Yeah, but they also invite uh, people from outside as well. They can attend. So it's a mini gathering, uh? Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. non non official mini gathering. Uh? Uh, Is it official? I think it's a bit official because they have. Uh, <laughs> They give out like uh, ELE points and they oh. sometimes important people, certain guests, musicians and all those things, yeah. So that one is more to like a little core curricular already, right? Um, or it's uh, under your course? Uh, it's not under our course, it's like faculty activity. Oh. Because the first curriculum, right, we can, basically it's just uh, what the university offer, what type of curriculum, yeah. Like the like choir, concert, performing, those are basically one of the practical core courses for us. Like music students, we really have to perform no matter oh, what. So how often do you perform? Maybe like how many times a month? Um, uh, depends lah if you are very confident. Uh, oh, if you're very so confident. it's uh, up to the student or not? Yeah. Yeah, oh. you can request, like your lecturer will ask you like, whether you want to perform in certain uh, recitals or any 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 uh, performance or what. You can volunteer yourself and all those things. Uh. But 
but most of the lecturers they they pick their students one like they say uh okay uh Simon I want you to perform so oh. have to have to la. <laughs> yeah you have that, to already yeah, yeah, have to yeah <laughs> oh okay so yeah. uh what do you normally do in campus like other than uh studying and attending lectures uh okay oh and practicing <laughs> oh and practicing uh uh actually actually mainly i just do those things only like oh, when this... I, yeah because uh music students right all of us are very hard working one like <laughs> uh, when we have free time uh, we straight go to the practice room and practice because there's a lot of uh, practical classes and each of the practical class there is assessment so oh. it's really important so like for example like the first day of class you go and perform there will be uh comments and critiques from the lecturer so uh like once you finish that class and you know all those comments and all those things for the next class you really need to prepare so you need oh. to like to to do well so like you just spend your time practicing and doing a lot of uh playing and singing so that you can do well in that course Yeah, oh. so all of us is like very hard working one. We sometimes we like two or three, you know, two or three or four of us sometimes we will be in a room just yeah, practicing. Yeah, I've yeah. seen I've seen uh pra- practice room they are quite small, right? Yeah, and yeah. very li- limited, very yeah. limited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh there's also I I've, I've uh because I've stayed in campus before the mm. block B there's yeah. practice room like the container practice. Yeah, yeah, room. yeah. Yeah. Then there's also very little on your right. Yeah. Right. Uh, eight or eight to ten. Uh, can say, yeah, eight to ten. I think twelve rooms. I think altogether. Then there is uh two floors. You know the container. The top one is basically for, uh, band, for people who perform in group. They can go up there and do their rehearsals and all those things. So the, uh, upper level is a yeah. bigger area, right? Yeah, it's compared a bigger area compared below. Yeah. Oh, um, hold on, ah, let me think, think of something. <laughs> um, about the practice room, right? Uh, are there any like specific room for specific major, or they just share around? Um, if you come to Block C, um, uh, uh, there's actually rooms for. Uh, string instrument major and also vocalist. If you go to the room, if you see there is a mirror, then those rooms are for them, because oh. they they need to see the way they. I mean their posture, posture like how they should stand, how they should project oh. themselves and all those things. So I think that yeah, those rooms are for voice majors and uh, string instruments, uh, woodwind players, yeah. Then there's what, also what is woodwind players? Oh, woodwind players are basically a uh, flute, the clarinet, oboe, bassoon, yeah, and all oh, those okay. things. Yeah, classical, <laughs> classic. Yeah, oh. that's what. Yeah, like for contem, there's a uh, three rooms for drum majors, people who major in drums. Yeah, there's. Oh, uh, just three. Yeah, just, just three. Yeah. But then the, <laughs> <laughs> there are so many students. Yeah, but. Come, but come to think of it, there's uh actually right in our campus, most of the students who major, uh, in music, most of them are actually pianist. So the oh. pianist is like the ones are like a lot one, like uh, drums can say it's handful lah. It's still comfortable. You can count. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. How many pianos are there in like? I know there's like two grand pianos, right? At yeah. Block E or Block G recital, there's a grand piano. Yeah. But in practice room, it's I don't know, it's called like smaller. Oh, pra- yeah, practice room. The piano is called upright piano. Upright piano. Upright. Yeah. Yeah, upright. <laughs> Basically, I'm, it, I'm yeah. embarrassed. I don't know what it's called, even though even though I, <laughs> oh, even okay. though I I play yeah. piano. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's uh uh I think upright and the grand piano they they function the same. It's only the the size only lah. Size yeah. only yeah. Yeah, the size only matters. Because yeah. I never used a grand piano before that. 
so I cannot compare. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Mm, so, uh, other than practicing in the practice room, do you practice anywhere else? Uh, when you're in campus? Oh, you stay in campus or you're from KL and you just travel from home? Uh, no, actually I'm from Seremban. I travel daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't oh. stay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. uh... If you're not practicing in the campus, you practice at home, huh? Yeah, I practice at home. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um, are there any, like, I'm not sure about the soundproof thing in school. Are there any, like, disturbance and stuff? Uh, uh, sometimes there is, lah, because our practice room, right, is, like, all, like, opposite, you know? Like next door, no. Like your room is here. Then I'm opposite you, or I'm I will be beside you. So when we practice, right, we need to like practice properly, like full of dynamics and all those things. So sometimes it can be disturbing, lah, because you want to uh-huh. focus, right? Then the next door is like banging the piano. And all <laughs> yeah. So the soundproof, soundproof is not that good. Uh, in it's not, yeah, it's not that effective yet, lah. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, when I was staying in uh, block B, uh. Oh. I think that someone mentioned that the drum room is actually in the deepest area of Block C, right? Because it's very loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, for your faculty or for UCSI, are there any improvement you think can be done? <laughs> uh, I, I thought of... Uh, I hope that they can uh, open up more practice rooms. Yeah, more practice rooms. Like, because um, actually all of the students will get a chance to use the practice room when they do the booking. No, So the booking is usually during the first week of classes and all those things. But sometimes it will be a bit late lah because they need to plan out everything. Like uh, when is the appropriate time where students can come and book, you know? Um, uh, for until up until up to that, it's still okay lah. Like before, when we start classes, we we also have our practical classes started. So once our practical classes started, we need to practice. There there are materials for you to learn and all those things. So that time things can go haywire because everyone <laughs> will be, uh, basically like uh looking for rooms. Oh. Yeah, because it's like everyone want to practice, you know? The room is insufficient, yeah. so basically. Yeah, correct, yeah. <laughs> so, other than practice room, are there any? Uh, um, I think so far for now, it's just the practice, practice room. room. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a big, very big problem. Yeah, yeah it's a very big problem. I mean, big. there's like so many classes, but there's not enough practice yeah. room, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and like... Yeah, and like every student, I mean like every semester, there's like new students coming in, you know. So it's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's but like, then they just use the same facilities. Yeah, the same facilities, yeah. Maybe they can expand, like maybe like there's like extra 10 rooms and all those things will be fine, la, better. Yeah. So um, are there any like limited hours where students can use the practice room? Because you mentioned about booking, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, there is uh, all together, right? Each of the students can book for four hours only. Four hours, per like day? Per yeah, week? per day, per day, per Basically, day. Yeah, they are, yeah. So they can book their time like throughout the week, like how many hours you want to have, how many minutes, and all those things. Uh, wait, uh, let me wait. I think I said it wrong. Um, basically. Yeah, throughout the, I mean, each of the students, they can have uh, uh, four hours they can book. So that four hours, you can mix and match, la, like, uh, based on your schedule. So you are given four hours, so you need to utilize that time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So once you book the time, there will it will be limited. La. So after that, if just say, la, like, during, uh, sometimes I do find out, la, like, uh, I finished my time already. But when, when I walk around to just look for rooms like during lunch hours or during when everyone has uh, learning classes instead of like uh, practical classes and all those things, most of the rooms are empty. Oh. So, and you can use the room. Or 
Second thing is that like uh like you finish already your time. Then just say now it's your turn to use the room but you're not there yet. You can still be in the room until the next person comes in. Yeah. Oh, so it's a bit flexible. Uh? Yeah, it's still flexible. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um for your instrument right whether it is piano or because piano uh for violin and string instrument it's kind of portable but for piano it's like yeah it has yeah. to be in that room right? yeah. does it have any like problem like uh is it too humid or is it too yeah maybe uh, does the condition in the practice room affect the instrument like, uh, in UCSI yeah actually the the how to say uh, the the condition and the weather is or the temperature of the room is okay Sometimes you know when we, um, we I mean like for it is a must lah that we uh, put in uh, we on the heater for the piano, yeah. So that is a must to maintain the piano and all those things. Sometimes there are some of us who are careless. Sometimes we unplug it like to charge our phone oh. device and all those things. It's a bit dangerous to yeah, unplug. It. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a bit yeah, it's very dangerous. But some of them, uh. I never done it before lah because I have a piano at home. I know it will like really ruin the the piano. So some of them they, but I, some of them they do that. But then our our lecturers they said it's okay if you wanna if just say emergency you need to charge your phone and all those things you can do that. But make sure after you do that you quickly plug it in lah. Yeah, <laughs> but there's also some problem that some of the students they forget you know. Oh, yeah. that that better don't yeah. unplug. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah, that's the yeah, that's the rule uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, last question. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, um, uh, so what is the situation now for music student because it's like MCO right now? Yeah. It must uh, be very tough, right? Yeah, it's but yeah, it's very tough because um uh, we cannot perform, uh, very well like through virtual. Uh, meetings and calls because some of us the connection at our house may be may be absolutely fine we'll be performing but sometimes at our lecturer's place it's not very <laughs> yeah it's not very well so it will interrupt the class lah so now uh, based on that to get the class going we have uh, to do more work we have to record oh. our play yeah and submit to the teacher so uh, during the meeting the lecturer will share screen with us and will play the video we sent and we will go through together lah. Yeah. So that is oh, one of the, It's like double work already, right? Yeah, it's for me if yeah, for me it's actually really double work because your <laughs> schedule also run because you need to you cannot just simply uh, play and just record and send it. You need to uh practice, you know. Because you are either you're going you're going to go into like a recording mode, you know, you're going to record yourself. So yeah. you need to prepare for that. Yeah. Sometimes under recording mode, you're still yeah. nervous and play it wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah, right? uh, correct. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> yeah. Like you get uh, anxious or what. Uh. So sometimes you will make small mistakes, uh, but then it's okay. You can just carry on. Sometimes if you make very big or major mistake, uh, then you have to start the whole oh. thing. Yeah, that's the worst part. It oh. takes like hours, you know, yeah, to spend doing that. Oh, hours. So. Yeah, like so for me, like, for a video, how long? How long is? Uh, basically depends on the piece. Like I'm not sure for yeah for for content majors mostly our songs we play and all those things it can be. Like just say like one song uh, can be like three to seven or eight minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Long. Yes, so we have to perform, you know, we have to play, improvise and all those things. Like for classical majors, I I think for them it's like quite long. Because uh, for them, right, they have uh, movements to learn, you know, like certain songs like movement one, movement two. So each of the movement can be like as long as 15 to 16 minutes. Yeah, so they have to play. La. But our lecturers are... They, they don't ask us sometimes to record the whole thing. They will ask us to record maybe like certain section to work on. Oh. Yeah. So sometimes it's okay lah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Anything to add on before? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you said for now for 
the current moment right we are doing it at home yeah it's actually uh challenging uh we need to uh like can i'm not sure uh, like for me i i think i'm a very i'm not a very fast learner like i really need to uh take time put time to, into yeah, yeah put time and effort you know so i think like um it's a it's very stressful like i said like you need to prepare and record and all this this stuff yeah <laughs> So yeah, you need to prepare. So sometimes it's like this, you know. Just say, for example, in a band setting, ah, uh, like I play with my other band members. So just say, like sometimes, ah, uh, like I, ah, uh, we record and all those things with our band members. Then when we go for coaching, right? Ah, uh, actually, I really ah uh, get very scared when I go for coaching <laughs> because, right? Sometimes you you did your best and all those things you record, right? Then there are new additional comments and all those things are. Uh, then you need to change the way you play, you know. Oh. So like when it comes for the next coaching session, you need to re-record again. Like you cannot use the same recording. Because you know so the it, comments has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. The comments have changed. Instead of like uh playing uh live, like okay, like your teacher say okay, this phrase you are playing wrong. So like on the spot you can correct it, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So like now for, you have to re-record. Yeah, it. you have to re-record. So that is like very for me. That's very stressful. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Faster can cope, lah. Yeah, so faster can cope. Yeah. Thank Now God. it's a challenge. It's yeah, a challenge it's a... for all of us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I think, I think that's all my questions. Thank you. Yeah. Thank no you. <laughs> really, really. Yeah. Thank no you very way. much. Yeah. No so way. I'll end the recording here first. Yeah. This is the interview for the design studio three project, project two or project three? Yeah, project two. So, this is Sing Tian. Would you like to introduce yourself a bit? Hi, my name is Sing Tian. I'm from Institute of Music. Uh, I'm I'm pursuing classic a uh, bachelor degree in classical music, and now I'm in year two semester, and I'm a voice major. Oh, voice. So, are there any other instrument you're playing? Uh, I play violin as well. Violin. Okay. So, what is the course duration for your degree? Ah, is it? You mean like the total lecture hours? Uh, how many years are you studying for this degree? Ah,、oh, three years. Three years. Okay. So, hmm. So studying in classical music, right? Classical、yeah. music, bachelor degree in classical music. Um, are there any specific? How do you say? Are there any specific uh activities your faculty offer? Yeah, faculty activities. Um, usually, uh, there will be year-end concerts for choir. Choir, um, every sem, sorry, not year-end, sem-end concerts. Yeah, and each choir will have to perform, and also CME. Uh, it's a, it's also a course. Sorry, course. It's called chamber music ensemble. Um, so people, uh, we will get together and play. Yeah. A certain music,、oh. then they will select a few groups to perform, and master class. They will invite um like other pianists, uh, teachers from outside UCSI to select and select a few students to perform on that day. Then the teacher will like teach them and give comments, and all of us will be sitting there and watching. So the master master class. It's actually a period or one day, one day thing, ah.、Uh. No, ah,、uh, it's usually two hour. Two hours.、Ah. So it's one day one, ah.、Uh. Like, it ends starts in this day and then end in end at the same day, ah.、Uh, yeah. For master class. Okay, so normally, what do you do when you're like studying, ah?、Uh? Yeah, your your degree. Ah.、Uh. I practice mostly. It's practice, and because um because it's no actually every classical music student they score study, 
like we read our score and then we see what can we do with the music and we listen a lot of recordings we listen to other people play like online uh, and um, rehearsals we have choir rehearsal and you, re you rehearsal all the all the time like except when you're practicing with others so you practice alone but rehearsal with with other students uh? mm. oh okay so normally you do score reading in your bedroom or you have any place or just anywhere in the um, school in yeah the just room. just anywhere but um i think um i like to do it in the practice room uh. oh okay yeah. so when you mentioned about practice room so that's the only that's the facilities that's one of the facilities for music student only right mm. Oh, so are there any other facilities just for music students? Um, we have does recital hall counts because we will have class oh. there, but they let I us think that counts. Okay, I think that counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We because have... without you, music students recital hall would be pretty much not not in use. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yeah. So then we have recital hall and we have MIDI lab. MIDI lab is for mainly for composition major. They will um, MIDI lab. Now we have what do you call that? Um, Apple computer that consists of DAW. DAW is a software that um, they can like type their music inside and it will come up with a demo tape. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And with the keyboard as well for them to type in and we have keyboard lab um it's for a certain class to teach students that have no piano piano foundation oh so and before they start playing the piano they'll learn at the keyboard that first uh. yeah um our music faculty they have a certain rule like you come um they have to audition you like whether you have um piano basics like do you know how to play scales and sort uh -huh. those things yeah um if you don't have the piano skills they'll need you to take a course called collab uh i don't know what's the course name because <laughs> i didn't take um it's basically teaching you um basic piano skills because they think uh, piano skill is very important for oh. every music student, uh, so that's why it's compulsory. Okay, so hold on. Oh, other than uh, other than using the facilities for music student only, are there any facilities where you share with uh, all of UCSI students? It's my line back. <laughs> okay. Um, but, uh, what you asked just now because uh, I think my line is quite bad. Yeah. Oh, um, other than the music student facilities, are there other like facilities where you share with all, all the overall students? Um, mainly it's library and exam hall lecture hall and <coughs> some study spaces like the chairs outside of broad sea studies hold on oh 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 okay <laughs> <laughs> the bus stop there <laughs> not familiar already almost two years didn't go back <laughs> Um, so, are there any, do you have any hobbies? Uh, other than um, music? Uh, yeah, other than Um, Basically, it's reading, watching movies, swimming, and jogging. Okay. So, if it's music, it's uh, singing, uh, right? <laughs> Yeah, because it's already my kind of my 
responsibility, so I don't I do not consider it as hobby already. Uh. Oh, but yeah. it used to be a hobby, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are there any oh I think I asked that already. Faculty activities. Oh, co-curricular activities. Right. I think it's the same as faculty mm. activities. Okay. Um, in a normal school day, like weekdays, what do you normally do in between lecture time? Um, if it is... It depends what my class is. If it was um, like this semester, if it, it was history seminar, like before, um, after this class and then the next class is history seminar, I usually study or watch um, the record, the things that I need to watch. Right? Then if it's other course, I, uh, I'll go practice. Right? But if it's only half an hour break, I'll just score study or do other things. Oh, mm. wow. <laughs> so on a weekday, a weekend, I mean, with uh. no lecture, uh. you usually practice and study? Not the whole day, of course. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe got rest for a while and hang out with friends. Uh. Yeah, yeah. And also watch concerts. I usually oh. watch concerts. Uh. Virtual concerts or? Uh, depends if, because virtual concerts, um, for now, la, now I will usually watch virtual concerts, of course. But um, before MCO? <laughs> before MCO, I'll, I'll watch like live concerts, then um, see if there is any like virtual live concerts. Yeah, but I still watch opera la, because opera is, um, Malaysia don't have much opera shows so every weekend okay. i'll watch so you watch it in your bedroom do you sometimes yeah. watch with your friends <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah oh you watch your friends in your bedroom yeah because we uh i share a bedroom you... oh, but usually yeah, i yeah. Uh, so... usually i watch by myself uh. oh do you guys have like um something like it does, it has nothing to relate to your course but it's like a gathering playing together something like that uh, among students eat. gathering like maybe uh play music together uh, other than coursework uh, oh we usually have um charity concert every year oh every year mm. normally uh, what month uh? Uh, September. You um, sorry. I only experienced two times. The first one is September sixteen. The second one is um around July or September. I forget already, but it's um. It's different one la, for mm, each year. Because every year we change our committees. The there's a student organization. Yeah. We change our committees and depends on them now. Oh, depends on them. Mm. Okay. So, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, because now we are under MCO now, are there anything like, can you like state the major, major changes for you? <laughs> Yeah. I think I think everything changed because our classes are mainly <laughs> our classes are mainly practical classes. Except um theory and those lecture those considered like thirty percent of our course for me uh, others um we do a lot of practical face to face. It requires a lot of practical. So um the first thing is we have to do recording and then even if it's recording, the sound quality um, is affected. And if it's live, then it will have connection problems, but still okay, la. not too bad, but it's not as good. Um, but for like other calls that needs rehearsal with others,
Oh my god. It's probably the first thing you like already. <laughs> Maybe it's my problem. Yeah. Oh. Maybe it's my Wi-Fi. It's okay. Uh, did you miss out a lot? <laughs> yeah, you say the first the first thing is then start to like already. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, the first thing is rehearsal. Like rehearsal. We have a lot of practical classes, and um, our rehearsal is affected. Like a lot of courses, they need rehearsal, like choir and CME or opera workshop. It needs um yeah we need to play music together. My internet got problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think can be okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the major thing for me la. And also for my singing, right? Because singing you always need a pianist together with you. And then now I have to sing by myself and um it's very I don't know how to say it. um because the song because of the song then it's quite hard for me you know and oh. mm, yeah so, that's the main thing. How do you all rehearsal it's like everybody have to for quiet everybody have to sing together, right? Mm. Now we how, um we can only like can? fix personal problems. We still have class together, oh. but we sing one by one. So um, the lecturer can still like fix personal problems, but we cannot fix the problem that will be there when we sing together. Yeah. Oh, so that's a major problem, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very big problem. So yeah. for the for UCSI, do you think are there any improvement they can make? So uh, we need we, more we, practice room. <laughs> yes, we need a lot more practice rooms because um, for now, right, every student is actually they only have four hours of practice room each week. Oh, that's very little. <laughs> yeah, yes. So um, so we have to like fight for the rooms. Ah, it's very. You have to, uh, palming, waste palming. You have to register for the room. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we have to. Oh. Or else, like, someone, like, they practice five, four hours, sekaligus, then someone cannot use at all, right? Oh. Mm, so, are there, how many sizes are there for a practice room? I think what I saw before is one, one practice room, the size for one person, right? Are there any more sizes? Um, if if you say comfort comfortable according to like our comfortable la, like um we have for one person and maybe two person la, if it's a voice major depends on the instrument and that one is one and then the others like we also use classroom as practice room if the classroom is not in use. Oh, classroom in block C? Yeah, block C, first floor also. The one we use for choir in the cell. I think I've been to block C classroom. They're all chairs, right? Yeah, we need to move out the chairs and the tables oh. every time, like before and after our rehearsal. Then move in, move out. Oh, so that, that's one of the space where you share with other students. Uh. Mm. So practice room is only for music students. Mm. So, eh, do you mean like other students like from other faculty? Yeah. Oh no, we. Oh, the classroom is just for you, mm. music students. Oh. Because we have a piano inside. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought I thought it's those classroom we use like all those chairs. <laughs> not oh, sure oh, I can move oh. or not. <laughs> oh no no no. Because I'm, I think. I've only used Doxy once or twice, like one semester or two semester, only, so not uh -huh. spending there. Okay. Um, so, no, have you guys ever like counted how many practice rooms are there in UCSI? Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, 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 Z,
there's one slot is 13 and the others is ABC. Oh, so she 17 and then 20. If it's for one person only, there will be only 20 practice rooms. The one person sized practice room. Oh, so one person size 20. Yeah. I thought there are like hundreds of, of, I don't know how many hundred of music students. Yeah. Oh, no wonder you say one week, four hours. Mm -hmm. That's very less. So if you don't practice in your, in the practice room, where do you practice? Uh? In your bedroom also? Uh? Um, if both in, then I'll practice in my bedroom. Uh, but usually I I won't. Uh. Oh, there's another space also. It's at like block D, behind block D, the cabin. Uh, there are, oh, that. yeah. That. There are roughly maybe, maybe 10. Yeah, 10. But then that, the, the size is bigger than the one person practice room? No, uh, it's the it's same. It's the same. Oh, it's or the maybe same. smaller. Yeah. Oh, smaller also. Okay. A bit la, it's uh, the same la, I think. So, are there any, so for the practice room, all the students uh, share equally, but are there any rooms specific for any major? Yes, we have um, drum room. Yeah, because they need to put the drums. So we have two drum rooms. And then uh, one um, for guitar, like the electric guitar, they have, have all the equipment set there. And then one for percussion. It's at Block G, like same level with our music office. Oh, um, music office is level what? Uh? Nine. Oh, never been there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I think that's all uh, since we have already <laughs> talked about improvements for you from towards UCSI, so I think that's all. Uh. Thank mm. you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Ah, I'm strange. I'm going to stop the record. Wow, 20 minutes, like that. 25 minutes. Um, no, this is just between us. Oh, 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 oh.